Good morning, everyone. This is Sister Sherry here with Renewed in Christ Ministries. And I had a wonderful revelation this morning. And um, I was doing my video Bible study for today on faith. And I was talking to my husband about the Bible study. And this just, God just put it right on my heart today, just out of the blue, as I was telling him about the Bible study. So I knew this came from him. And what a wonderful revelation that this was. Um, it's about binding and loosing and you know a lot of pastors uh, have it very wrong I mean most pastors have the meaning of binding and loosing wrong uh, with their perception of what it means and a lot of times they think that it means binding and loosing uh, principalities you know um, like binding up the principalities of darkness and loosing up the principalities of um, the Lord of Hosts, uh, and that is not what it means at all. What binding? If you actually go back to the Hebrew, but God told me it wasn't. God told me what it meant, and then I actually studied the phrases and what binding and loosing meant, and it simply means carrying out the will of God on earth, so it can be loosed in heaven. And what that means is carrying out the will of God on earth, meaning the physical existence. So it can be loose in heaven or the spiritual existence. Now what he gave me today um, was that one of the laws of the universe, I don't know exactly what it's called, uh, cause and effect maybe, like a cause and effect kind of law, but it's one of the laws of God that he set in the universe, is that everything must first happen in the physical existence on earth before it can take place in the spiritual existence or the heavenly existence. And I'm not talking about in heaven, I'm talking about the heavenly existence or the spiritual. And um, just to give you some examples of this is that when Abraham offered up his son Isaac as a sacrifice, it, it was much like what God the Father did with his son. He offered up his son as a sacrifice. And it even tells us that through Isaac, then um, Abraham's... Uh, seed will be blessed. So that's that's kind of what we're talking about. That's one of the things. Another, um, you know, that was God putting into motion through Abraham and Isaac what was going to take place in the spiritual, which was him giving his son. And it happened, had to happen in the physical first. In fact, as we'll see that everywhere in the Old Testament that it it's either happened already in the New Testament or it's prophesied to happen. Okay, so um, when we look at the Old Covenant, um, the Old Covenant was strictly for carrying God's will out on the earth. That was the purpose of the Old Covenant. And now we're under the New Covenant, where the um, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? I'm sorry. Where the will of God is carried out in the spiritual now, in the heavenly existence. Okay, so, I, I mean, just everything that happened was a foreshadow. I can give you more examples, like the Israelites um, being commanded to put the blood, the, the blood of the lamb, over the doorpost, uh, over their doorpost at Passover, um, so that the, uh, the spirit of death would skip over their homes uh, when the plague of the firstborn uh, was issued or administered administered by God, and um, so the blood of the Lamb covered them, and they did not die; they lived. And that's what happens to us in the spiritual. Now, the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, covers us, and we no longer are under that um, curse of death, like the Egyptians were under the curse of death. Uh, we are um, under. Christ's blood and a covering so we we live and you know that's just one of many the very giving of the Torah itself had to be done before the law could be placed in our hearts but the, the only thing is the Israelites did not walk out the law that God gave them so Jesus was sent and he walked it out so that we could receive it in the spiritual it had to be done in the physical, and Jesus did it because the Israelites failed to do it. 
So Jesus did it because it had to be done in order to be carried out in the spiritual, okay? So we could receive it in the spiritual, in our hearts, okay? Because he says he's going to write the his laws on our hearts. He couldn't do that until the physical was done first on earth by giving the Torah. Okay, so that's, I mean, there's so many examples. I mean, Joseph and his sons, um, who were Egyptian, you know, it, it, <laughs> it was all a foreshadow. Um, the Israelites were all a foreshadow. Everything was a foreshadow for either what already has come in the spiritual or is prophesied to come. So that is what God has put on my heart, that it doesn't mean binding and, and loosing doesn't mean binding spirit, uh, principalities of darkness. It means, or binding Satan, okay? Because I, I don't know, I don't know that we have authority to bind these things. Because God, or to bind Satan anyway, because God gives him the authority um, to accuse us and to try us. So, um, what binding and loosing it, and you know, is is just simply carrying out the will of God on earth, or carrying out the will of God in the spiritual. Okay, so that's why in Ecclesiastes we see it says in Ecclesiastes one nine, what has been will be again. There's nothing new under the sun, and why? Because God's will is for everything to be done. His plan, okay, his whole plan. He carries out on the earth in the physical, which he did in the Old Testament times, in the Old Covenant. Now, under the New Covenant, everything is manifesting in the spiritual. Okay, so nothing new under the sun or will manifest, you know, or yet to be manifested. Okay, so in Matthew 18 18, Jesus tells us, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Okay? It's, it's, it's quite simple. It's carrying out the will of God, either in the physical. It's got to be done in the physical in order to be done in the spiritual. It's like a, what he told me, you know, put on my heart was that it was like one of the laws of the universe that he put into motion. It has to be. It's like a balance, uh, like a balance, a check and balance type thing, a cause and effect kind of law. All right, and that's all I have for you today. That was a wonderful revelation. And um, if you could just click and share the video, um, I would really appreciate that to get the message out. Um, because we don't, you know, this may um, may not affect people, you know, this very message, but these it's these little revelations that come from the Spirit within us, the Holy Spirit within us, is that He's trying to... Um, reveal to everyone so we must pass it on okay so that's all I have for you today and I just hope God blesses your day and that you're filled with all the fruits of God's Spirit thank you for listening bye bye